Right folks, welcome back to a 10 part series. This is the third part of a 10 part series where Sterling Insurance have challenged me to convert that van into a camper. Um, they cover all kinds of insurance, camper vans, car insurance, bike insurance, they do the bloody lot. So get over to Kurt Sterling Insurance and get yourself insured with them. They specialise in camper vans, this is why they want me to do it. Um, I've decided to put windows in this side here. So I've come along to this place in Salby in Leicestershire called Van Pimps. They've just opened up in a new warehouse. Can we get in here? Look at this. Massive. I knew them when they were in a little place in Salby and now they've moved over here. They've got everything you need for your camper van conversions. Doing really well for themselves. So lads over there, they don't want to be on it. They've gone all shy on me. <laughs> so uh, anyway, here's the vans, here's the uh, windows, I'm going to take these, get it sorted, you get all your bonding, your gasket and everything. So once again, Sterling Insurance, thank you for this uh, opportunity to do this. Anybody who needs anything for camp van conversions, just come along to Van Pimps and uh, they'll sort you out. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, so I've brought the van up to Robinson's in Barrow upon saw Ashley is going to put me a hole in the other side. I will be doing this door, but he's going to do the other side. So, uh, crack on really. So you're just drilling the marker holes in you mate, and then you're going to cut through. But on this door, I will be doing this one because I want to have a go, but I want to save a bit of time. So I want to take the water fire. Ooh, look at them big holes. Happy days. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this for now, let him cut it, and we'll get back to you. There we have it, fucking burger van. Happy days. There you go, clean the edges up now. You're gonna clean the edges up, and then I just put the gasket round and then stick it to the side, don't I, in theory. Oh, God. Has it been going live, has it? Been it on live? Uh, I've had one go out on Sunday, um, to, uh, and then I've got one that's ready for next Sunday, just need to prove him. This will be the following Sunday. Have you edited it? Or? I've edited it, yeah, and I can't edit, so it's not the best. Yeah. So the cut has been done. Uh, it's all been tidied up. Thanks to Robinson's at Barra for this again. Um, I'm going to take it home and try and fit it, and hope it don't fall out and smash on the floor. So I'm going to have to do it again. See you in a bit. Can you see me? I don't think you can, can you? Looks a bit dark. I thought I'd just start stuff over that side to uh, be something different. Uh, so as you can see, or perhaps as you can't see, I've got a big hole in the side of my van. Uh, so I've got my England flag up. This is the morning after the Germany game, folks. Um, so I've got my flag up, I've got a hole in the van, I have now got to put the window in. Window? Gotta put the window in. I have now got the gasket. I've gotta put the gasket all the way around the uh, window. Uh, and then I'm gonna be offering up the window, which is down here that you can't see at the moment. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So, um, it's just one of them things really, isn't it now? I'll crack on. I'm gonna move the camera and stick it over here so you can see me in the daylight. One second.
I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put you through a window. Pick a window. You're going through it. I've gone all safety as well. I've got my goggles on. Look at that, through a window. Now, when you're doing this, right, we, I used to uh, run plants at work. I'll straighten you up, folks, so you're not on the piss. Um, we used to run the plants at work and used to have these uh, galas that used to have water in them and they used to flush the granules all around the plant. And uh, you'd have to clean the galas when you do a, 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 a product change, different colours, yeah? And anyway, sometimes you get people who would uh, put this, they, they get this kind of gasket and they start at the top, right? Which is wrong, because what happens is water gets in there and then it gets in there. Well, water gets everywhere, but if you start it at the bottom, you should be okay. I'm hoping you're okay anyway. But what I will also do is I will also seal this as well. So anyway, I'm going to speed this up. Right folks, um, so now I am going to put the gasket in. Uh, I have noticed, it's like June, June is, she's uh, hoovering. Uh, she's not doing woman's work, this is a teamwork, isn't it June? You know, June's brushing the holes and hoovering them out. Uh, so what it is folks, uh, I've just looked around here and inside the panels there is some kind of insulation. I don't know what it is, I haven't got a clue, I am not technically minded about vans. But I was most surprised to realise that there was two panels. There's one on the outside and one on the inside. I'll show you. Look. Two panels. I never knew that. I always thought it was just one bit of about four mil. Uh, but during this, I noticed that there was some... Uh, let me put the camera down so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry, folks. I noticed there was some kind of insulation. So it was... It's got to have been cleaned out so I can get the gasket in because it was sitting uneasy. So I've just put the spanner in, uh, the spanner, I've just put a chisel in, one of my old chisels that's no good, and just cleaned it out a bit. Um, so then I can uh, crack on. Uh, just one second, see if I can do it. Oh, oh, look at that! Get in there, should have been in a bloody circus, throwing daggers at clowns. Just out of interest, do, do clowns scare anybody? They scare June. I'm not too fussed, but yeah, I can see the uh, I can see the scary part. Um, right. So what I do, um, this is me personally. I'm going to start the gasket at the bottom because I think if you start it at the top and you do have a leak, it can actually drip in and then it will drip through the gap and down. Um, but I don't I don't know. I, I just haven't got a clue really. So, from what I know is that you put the gasket on the inside panel and you just work your way around. I've just got to pull my shorts up. I think I'll speed this bit up and play a bit of music. Go.
these are the windows that I have bought for the van, or rather Sterling Insurance has bought for the van. Um, I picked them up from Van Pimps, they're only up the road from me, uh, which makes life very easy. I've not got to sit around waiting for people to come in or get them to be delivered or anything like that. All right, there you go. Got Junie Baby in the uh, in the front of the cab. Cleaning. And here we have it. A side opening. Have you turned you over? I've turned you over off, no. Oh no. Oh no. June's wore the Uber out. Uh, so this is it folks. Uh, right, I'm going to offer this up, I'm going to turn the camera off, uh, offer it up, clean it, open it all up and we'll go from there. Okay. So the window's all um, prepared, uh, we've got the June Junie, she's pretending she's driving. Um, yeah, let's just read through these, uh, normally I don't do this kind of thing, reading through stuff. Uh, but I've cleaned the glass anyway. So I think what we do is get this primer that I've put in here because I've just been and made June Junior a cup of tea. Uh, you do that, you get the primer, uh, you use one of these little earbuds and you uh, paint all the way round the edge, not him out of view two. You paint all the way around there. Uh, you then clean the outside of the inside. And then I put my goo all around the edge and then you offer it up. Then you mask and tape it into place and uh, you leave it for three hours. So let's roll. This is the morning after the England game of beating Germany. Just thought I'd do that. Uh, right, folks, no doubt I'll get some fucking abuse for that. Um, right, folks, <clears throat> done it again, and I've said right, folks, like it's the start of the video. Uh, I've changed my T-shirt. I was a bit hot. I took the other one off, put this on. I have cleaned the outside of the glass of the inside. Done. I've wiped down there, and I've also used the primer in that little rattling bottle. I am now going to apply the adhesive. Now, I'm, I'm quite good with mastic. I don't know what that does. There's a little end on the end. Um, I'm quite good with mastic. I was, I'd say I'm pretty good at masticing around windows and stuff. This is going to be the same, I would have thought. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, right, folks. I had to stop them because I didn't know what was cracking off there. That was there. It is like a tin opener. I just wanted to turn it off uh, and have a look, see what it were. So, June's steaming. I am. What have I done wrong now? Nothing. Bubble. Mm -hmm. So, here we go then, folks. Bit of, I'll get you a bit closer so you can see. And uh, let's go for it. Now. Do you know what, folks? I know what I've done. What? I've pierced it and it's pushed it out and it's gone straight through. So I like oh. But you see, what I could do, folks, is I could actually stop that edit it out and make it look like I'm brilliant. But no, screwed up. This is 
she's going to do the same, I think. To be fair, this plastic gun shit, I tell you what, let's ch I'll be back. I'm going to go and have to get out of mastic gun. Right, back, new mastic gun, here we go. That's better. So, basically then folks, if you've got a rubbish mastic gun, one of these plastic ones, don't bother, because you ain't going to get anywhere with it. So, mastikin's done, the window's cleaned, uh, I've got mastic all over my hands, like you do. Uh, the June June, eh, wherever she is. I'm here. In the van. I know you are. Just give me masking tape so I can stick it on there. I'm going to go and wash my hands. the ants all over it. Do you want me to help you now? Yeah, please. Fuck off. Right. What? I need some masking tape. Where? Uh, sticking to it, let me. Well, let me stick the masking tape. What, in a long strip or? I just need like three strips, one up there, one up there. Yeah. Cover it, bloody ants. You go, you're okay. That ain't going to hold it in, is it? Well done. It, it's, it looks like it's sliding down a bit, your end. I think I need some packers or something, no. don't I? Some what? I need some packers or something. Well, let me hold that. You go and find some of them. Tape's 
Right, you want to start to just hold it oh. again, babe? Yeah, I like that. And that's it, no problem at all. Where's the, is there any problem there? I don't know, as long as it's level and in the right position. Yeah, dry. it's level. Right, see you in a bit. So there we have it, it's fitted. Um, it's not moved yet as such, I seem to have got it into place. Uh, sweet Junie, she, uh, she put her weight behind it and held it up there. Um, it's one of them things again where it's uh, it's experience. It's doing it day in, day out, knowing what you're doing, getting a routine, and that. Uh, but no, there we go. So we've got to leave this for two to three hours. I'm going to leave it all night. I'm not going to touch this again today, uh, and then come back tomorrow and see what's cracked off. See you tomorrow. So folks, you've just seen me fit the first window on that side of the van. I am now going to be doing this side of the van. Um, I've learnt a few errors, not errors, because it all went well, but I'm going to, it's the old story of it, a bit of experience and you know what you're doing kind of thing. You're always learning, as my granddad said, till the day you die, you're always learning. I'm fucking frothing up here. It's very hot. Very humid, very muggy. I think we're going to get some rain. Life is life. Who sang that? Anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to take the panel out of there at the inside uh, and then I'm going to cut the holes, cut round it. I bought uh, some new blades for my recipasaur, uh, cut it all out, and I'm going to go for it, um, which you'll see in a minute. I'm just going to set up. Laters. Right folks, um, I've uh, started to cut. I've cut the sides and the bottom. Um, I forgot to set the bloody camera off, didn't I? And then I realised I just got out the back of the van and realised the camera's still sitting there looking at me but not working. So, um, as you can tell, it looks like I've cut it with a pair of scissors. Um, the lads at uh, the garage, they've obviously got the right equipment to do it. I've used a recipasaw. I'm just going to go back in there now and cut the last tiny bit at the top. What am I on there? Right, let's get on with it.
one hole. Look at the fucking state of that. Well, I'm gonna try and tidy that up uh, and I'll be back to you in a bit. Right, folks, um, had a bit of a foobar. I cut the hole too big. I had trouble getting the gasket in, but it looks like I've cut it with a knife and fork. Uh, it's not very impressive. I'm a little bit ashamed. I'm a little bit embarrassed. But once again, it proves that when you do these things, um, it's not as easy as the people on YouTube make it look. You know, you look at it and you think, oh, easy, easy pin peasy. Well, it's not. Right, so as it stands then, I've got the gasket in. Uh, I've got the mastic on. I'm just going to put the window in now. Everything's all prepped. Give me a second. Wish me luck. Right, pass me some of that uh, tape. The camera's rolling, Ginge, so... Am I in it? I don't think so. Honestly, this isn't as easy as it looks. You've got to have some experience to do this job, to know what you're doing. Uh, oh, fuck's sake, look, I've got that all down the fucking van. I'll have to get some of on that. Um, I don't know, folks. It's, it's one of them things where you've just got to know what you're doing. And as you can probably tell from my video, I am so clueless about this. We will have to see. But the other one went on all right. The other one was fine. Uh, so we'll leave that there then, folks. Uh, we'll see what cracks off. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll show you it all round when it's done. Righto, laters. <sighs> right folks, it's Sunday afternoon. It's the day after England beat Ukraine. Just thought I'd get that in there. Um, so back to the video. The bin, uh, I wanted to finish this uh, video off with a little bit better because uh, I weren't happy how I left it. Uh, I did say I was gonna come back and show you people and here it is. Um, the wind has been in for two days well for friday saturday it's been in yeah two days friday saturday sunday two three days whatever you work it out um it's not fell out it's okay i'm i'm not happy with it to be fair um june's certainly not happy with it she's seen the back of it um she's seen what a complete mess i made of the inside i will show you the inside
But this is once again where I say, um, you need to know, or you need to have a bit of experience. Obviously, as you can see that, I've made a... F <sighs> but I will sort that out. I will sort it out. I don't know how I'm going to sort it out, but I will sort it out. There's probably people now laughing at me uh, of the mess I've made of that. But... <sighs> It's the old story, and I keep saying it, it's the old story of um, the experience. You can't beat experience of what you're doing. I didn't have the right equipment. <sighs> Got a fly in here. Um, you know, June's not happy with it when all's said and done. <sighs> I'm not happy with it, and whatever she says doesn't change the fact that I'm not happy with it. I should have basically stopped, took... Um, took stock of what I were doing and got it right but I didn't it's not leaked I came in and I've had a look it's not leaked we've had a right couple of downpours here in the East Midlands uh, it's not leaked we're okay this side is so much better because I got the garage to do it uh, I got the garage to cut it and um, that's the way it goes June's done some good work on the cab. Uh, so there it is. Um, what I will be doing uh, in the next video. Oh, in the next video. Wait up, I'm falling over. I've got my bloody Crocs on. Don't wear Crocs, folks. Well, I do wear Crocs. They are good. I like them. It's because my feet don't smell them if I wear slippers. And that, and because I've got a bad leg, I've got me a pin in my leg. The, the cold goes up and it hurts my leg. Um, next video, I probably will be looking at. Well, won't be probably. I will be looking to uh, put the sound deadening in and the insulation, uh, ripping them panels off and uh, battening the floor, putting a putting a hard board floor down. Uh, cutting a hole over there so the gas can come through and um, that'll be it really <sighs> all right Lou. thank you once again to sterling insurance uh, for sponsoring me to do this and sending me up the wall happy days laters